in the previous video we learned what is triangle law of vector addition and in this video lesson we're going to exactly find out what is the magnitude of that resultant and what is the direction of that magnitude all right uh, triangle law was something like this let me remind you once again if I have a triangle and if the two sides of the triangle taken in order taken in same order is representing the two vectors let's say vector a and vector b then the third side taken in opposite order all right taken in reverse order represents the resultant of that I mean resultant means the sum of those two vectors taken in reverse order all right and that is represented by the third side so now we're going to find out what is the magnitude of this r and what is the direction of this r so to do so let me first make a triangle all right so here I do have a triangle let's say this is a b and c all right and according to the triangle star let's say if two sides side a b is representing the vector p in magnitude and direction similarly side bc is representing vector q in magnitude and direction then the third side taken in reverse order i mean side ac represents the resultant of these two vector p and q in magnitude as well as in direction and now we need to find out the magnitude as well as the direction of this r right how to derive that so uh, I'm going to imagine something. Let's say this resultant is making uh, angle beta with uh, the vector uh, vector p, all right? And similarly, if I'm going to elongate this AB line, I mean the vector p, I'm going to elongate more, then I'm going to get certain angle. And let's say that angle is theta. I mean, this is q vector and this is p vector. So q vector is towards this and p vector is towards this. So let's say this theta is the angle between the vector p and q, all right? and here I'm going to do a little construction let's say I'm going to draw uh, C D perpendicular to let's say uh, to a D all right so this is perpendicular it means it means triangle a D C is a right angle triangle all right so in a right angle triangle a D C from the Pythagorean theorem what we can write that the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the base and the perpendicular so square of the hypotenuse that is AC square is equals to the sum of the base square that is AD square and perpendicular square that is DC square all right DC square so further let's write AC square is equals to AD square you know and AD is actually the sum of AB plus BD so it is AB plus BD whole square and and this is as it is dc square but my friend if you look at here properly you don't know this bd all right we don't know this bd and neither we know this cd but we know this angle theta so from the application of the trigonometry we can find out this bd and cd all right so if you look in a right triangle bdc uh, you're going to find two things sine theta all right and you're going to find cosine of theta and sine theta, you know, always it is perpendicular over the hypotenuse, all right? I'm talking about this small triangle. Initially, I was talking about this whole triangle, and now I'm talking about just this triangle, BDC. This is also a right angle triangle. And in that right angle triangle, sine theta is actually the perpendicular over the hypotenuse. That is DC over the hypotenuse, that is BC. Similarly, cosine of theta. Cosine of theta is the base, that is BD, over the hypotenuse, that is BC. So BD over the it is D all right BD over the BC now it's sine theta and this uh, DC we need to find out so as it is and BC you know this BC is actually Q so it is Q and similarly cosine of theta and this is BD that we need to find out you know this BD we need to find out and over the BC BC is again Q so here I can write that this 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 uh, DC is equals to q times sine theta and similarly here i can write bd equals to q times cosine of theta all right we find out bd as well as dc all right we find out bd as well as dc so let's put the value of that so ac here you know this ac here is representing the resultant so i'm writing here r square and ab ab is here representing p so i'm writing here p and this bd we recently find out that is q cos theta so it's q cos theta whole square and then dc we recently found out that is q sine theta so it's q sine theta whole square right 
So let's write it further. That's R square and A plus B whole square. So that's going to be A square plus 2A B plus B square that is Q square cos square theta plus again this all right that's Q square sine square theta Q square sine square theta and now further it's R square P square as it is 2PQ cos theta as it is plus now if you take a look this cos square theta if you take a look this Q square and Q square is common so I'm taking Q square common and it will be cosine of square theta plus sine square of theta all right and now it's going to be r square equals to p square plus 2 p q cosine of theta plus now see everybody know that cosine square of theta plus sine square of theta that's equals to 1 all right we have learned in trigonometry that sine square a that a is your angle plus cos square a equals to 1 all right so that's what i'm going to use so 1 times this q square that will be q square all right so finally what we get our resultant r is inside the root p square plus 2 p q cos theta plus plus this q square just to remove this square i put the root all right so we find out the magnitude magnitude of this 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 resultant but my brother this is you know resultant is a vector quantity and we need to give magnitude as well as the direction so to give the direction uh, we had suppose that let's say this is making angle beta with the uh, p vector then again in triangle you know again again in right angle triangle uh, a d c if you see what is tan of the beta tangent of beta you know tangent of beta if you take that is actually the perpendicular over the base perpendicular is here dc and base is here ad all right and now tan beta is going to be dc dc we have recently found out that is q sine theta q sine theta and ad you know uh, this ad that is ab plus bc ab plus bd bd all right that is p plus q cos theta all right p plus q cos theta so we give the direction almost and now we need to give the exactly what angle it is so we need to take this tan into the inverse form another side so it will be tan inverse q sine theta divided by p plus q cos theta if you are allowed to use the calculator then first you find out this quantity it will be some number and then uh, do the tan inverse all right in calculator otherwise you you see this number and check in the table of tangent you'll get exactly certain let's say x degree or certain angle you'll get it means that much angle with respect to vector p because this angle beta is made with along 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 the, along the you know this this beta is made uh, with respect to the p all right so we give the magnitude as well as the direction all right now let's learn some few few a uh, few special cases all right what will happen uh, if this vector q and vector p is making theta equals to zero degree all right so that time this will drop up to here and this p will go this side and that time even q will go along that side means both are making zero degree angle so case one all right case one theta equals to zero when theta equals to zero the resultant will be you know p square plus 2 p q cos zero plus q square and cos of zero equals to one that is so it will be p square plus 2 p q plus q square and that's going to be p plus q whole square that is a square plus 2 a b plus b square right and it's inside the root so finally we'll get p plus q so when the two vectors will be acting in the same direction all right making angle zero degree then that time simply will be adding the two vectors all right and that time the beta will be given by tan inverse all right and tan inverse c a uh, q sine zero all right q sine zero divided by p plus cos zero and sine zero is actually zero so it will be tan inverse zero which is equals to zero degree all right so resultant will also be in the same direction of p and in the direction of q so uh, it means actually when p is moving in, the dis in this direction and q is also moving in this direction then that time resultant will also move in this direction 
and the magnitude will be simply given by the p magnitude of p plus magnitude of q in, in the same way at that time we can add like a scalar all right and now what happened if uh, p and q you know if this is p vector and if q is like this i mean perpendicular right let's say this is perpendicular so if vector p and vector q is making theta making making theta equals to 90 degree that time what happens let's take a look all right so case two if theta equals to 90 degree you know cosine of 90 degree that's equals to zero and sine of 90 degree that's equals to one so resultant will be you know if you simply see cosine of 90 that's zero so it will be under root p square plus q square and the beta if you look you know uh, tan inverse q sine 90 plus plus q cos 90 degree so that's going to be tan inverse since uh, this is uh, q uh, this is i mean sine 90 equals to 1 so that's q and p plus q cos the q uh, cos 90 that's zero so this whole quantity will be zero and simply it will be q over p all right that's it and when you'll do 180 degree you know just get reverse you know uh, the cos 180 becomes uh, minus 1 so it will be p minus q that time it will be uh, simply resultant will be p minus q and here again you put sine 180 you know sine 180 equals to zero this whole will be zero so then angle will be definitely zero all right then that time beta will be zero